I'm Angela Anderson. I'm the science co-chair here at the Long Beach Island Foundation of the Arts and Science in Love Ladies on Long Beach Island. And I'd like to introduce you to our coastal rain garden. Hi, my name is Sandra Anton and I'm a local LBI resident. Um, in 2009, I was working with the science committee here at the foundation and they needed a, uh, someone to manage uh, a project that they had gotten a grant for from the Barnegat Bay Partnership. It was to build a rain garden. Uh, behind me you'll see a beautiful rain garden that we planted on our property at the foundation in 2009. We chose this particular location to plant a rain garden because we had standing water problem here at our entrance. Because I have experience um, in this area, I'm a master gardener as well as having some training from Harvard in landscape architecture. I was very excited about the project and uh, got, got to work right away doing as much research as I could and lining up the resources we needed to implement the garden. We began uh, by getting partnerships with master gardeners and uh, native plant nurseries to learn how we could put in a very dynamic coastal rain garden here. The space was going to be used by visitors, by the membership, and by the broader community. It was going to be a living classroom and it needed to uh, meet all of those requirements. Uh, we planted in about a 30 by 80 foot area, uh, more than 150 plants. And the plants and trees that we put in a rain garden are very specific to our area. Every rain garden is individual and individual in size and in needs and shading, sloping, and drainage. Our garden is very large in size. A uh, garden can be very small. It could be as small as a small bog garden. Uh, very, we have one for an example uh, in the rain garden to show people a downspout off of your roof can be an area of two feet by four feet that can be a beautiful rain garden. The plants that we have in this particular rain garden are drought and salt tolerant, high wind tolerant, and can really handle a nice standing water. We still get plenty of standing water here on our storms and our high tides, but we're realizing now a year into it that the, the soils have aerated and the plants are soaking the water up so it doesn't stay long and it drains very quickly. We use it as an outdoor classroom. Uh, we ran weekly tours this summer with the public and we incorporated it into a soil and art program with the students that came to the camps. We have the local Girl Scouts you'll see hanging in the trees uh, created beautiful artistic bird houses and we had a bat program that we ran over the summer as well. So the garden has become a, a real focal point for our goals and objectives here at the Arts Foundation. So we encourage you to learn more and come to us as an example and link onto our website um, to learn more about coastal rain gardens and about our foundation and how we're incorporating it into our programs.